Hey guys, thanks for checking in. My name is Dan. This is Tech Checks and Motor Vlogs. If this is your first time tuning in, please click that subscribe button down below. And remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. I totally hate having to go through that whole disclaimer, but I do exclude the hitting the notification bell, the sharing, and the commenting, and all the other things that everybody begs for you to do. It's extremely annoying to have to say it, and I know it's extremely annoying to have to listen to it because I don't only put videos out on YouTube, but I also watch an awful lot of them myself. Today, I want to talk about this BetterHelp.com. I'm going to call it a scandal because I think it's a scandal. PewDiePie, you may have heard of him. He has like 80 bazillion subscribers. What he brought up yesterday, I think, is pretty fascinating, and this has been brought up on YouTube previously, is this BetterHelp.com sponsor that you see, and it's everywhere. It's You'll see it constantly, these YouTubers saying, Better help. Better help. Better help. You better help. 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 There is a list of over a hundred YouTubers who have promoted this website. And what it boils down to is these YouTubers are getting paid a huge commission. I'm talking like huge. It's at least a hundred dollars from what I can find on, on the internet and PewDiePie says it's upwards of $200 per person to sign up. I highly suggest for this uh, better explanation of what's going on with this betterhelp.com scandal, just check out the PewDiePie video. He goes through it and he covers it really well. I watch Philip DeFranco. Also attacking protesters with batons, rubber bullets, tear gas. And, and I've kind of started to watch him as like a, a, a reasonable independent news source. And he got caught up in this whole BetterHelp.com scandal, I'll call it. And I don't think it's for malicious reason, but I think it's it's something that needs to be addressed because he basically dismissed the whole thing. And I watched his rebuttal video on it, and it was more troubling than his original allegation to begin with. And I say this now because Phil DeFranco is basically billing himself as a reliable news source and I, I believe that he is however when it came to light that not only was he advertising better help with a promo code and getting paid off of that he was also acting as an ad company to help pick up more youtubers to push the service what blows my mind more so is that and I say this with all due respect I am not shitting on Philip DeFranco, I think he's caught in a peculiar situation and I don't think he's doing necessarily the right thing to get out of it. What I think he should have done is cut ties with the company immediately, disclosed his relationship, and moved on from it and basically went into a recovery mode. But instead he's defending his actions and I think that makes him look worse. Now why I say this is because in his defense video, he and you can watch that defense video here, I'll link that uh, in the video as well, he basically says, hey look, you know, BetterHelp.com has helped a lot of people, I'm getting people telling me that it works, and you know, it's a good service in general, and that's all fine and dandy, but uh, it's bullshit because the company's own terms of service flat out tell you that you may not get a qualified therapist on the phone to diagnose your issues and I'll tell you what if you went to the hospital with a broken leg and they told you that you may or may not have a doctor uh, that can help you in this situation good luck I would walk out the door or limp out the door because my leg would still be broken but sure you might get somebody who might fix your leg or you just might get a hack who has no idea what they're doing who makes it even worse than it was before he came in the door, and that's basically what BetterHelp.com is. And sure, you might get help, but the company isn't going to make sure that you do, and they really don't give a shit if you do. So, I think Philip DeFranco should have ran away from this as fast as he possibly could, and kind of took ownership of that, but instead, his defense was, look, it's a good service, they're helping people, Sure, some people might have had bad reviews, but any company is going to have bad reviews. Uh, here's the Better Business Bureau rating, which a Better Business Bureau rating is basically as good as toilet paper because uh, it, it's basically a purchased rating. It means nothing. And then he goes on to say that uh, you know he wants to go and, and do a follow-up interview with the responsible parties over at BetterHelp with an independent journalist 
And this is where it's like starts to turn into a joke for me because you don't get to be the journalist in the middle of a scandal who then gets to go and report on the scandal. It doesn't work that way. You are no longer impartial. And re regardless of whether you bring another journalist in with you, you are now a YouTuber with how many millions of viewers, and any journalist who goes into that with you is also doing so because of the audience that you have and the notoriety they get. So it has to be investigated by an independent journalist without your I I input at all. And, and that's where he started to lose me. Now when he gets into saying he was an advertising company for them as well, well, now you're not really a journalist. If Takata, who put all those exploding airbags in cars, come to find out was uh, putting them in cars because Fox News was hooking them up with the auto manufacturers to put those airbags in vehicles, well, you certainly wouldn't expect to get an impartial news report from Fox News out of that, regardless of whatever nonsense they set up to make it look impartial. So I, I'm really kind of bummed out by the fact that he did not take more responsibility of his ownership and just run away as fast as he could and basically just say, hey, look, I am no longer going to do any business with this company because it was brought to my attention that, uh, you know, there may be some shady things going on here. So uh, I, I'm pretty disappointed with that. But what I will say and what I shared on Twitter today is it has made me reflect myself on my own channel and my transparency. And I am 100% going to do better with my audience to make sure these types of things don't come up as I grow. Uh, because, well, first of all, it's embarrassing. And second of all, why would I want something like that to come up where it makes me look like I am misleading my viewers? So I am in the process of drafting up a new request form for any of my sponsorships that flat out says that uh, you know, my integrity is not for sale. Uh, I will not give a good review on something simply because you gave me something. I will also make sure that I disclose to my viewers when something has been given to me and under what those terms are. And I think that YouTube can start doing a better job with this. And I don't mean YouTube as a company, I mean YouTubers. I believe people in these bigger roles are trying to kind of cover up that they're getting stuff for free. And I think they're doing this because, well, it, it makes it look like their credibility is in question. And I don't think it has to be that way. I should be able to tell you, hey, look, XYZ company sent this to me for free because I requested it because I am interested in the product. So I had an interest in it going into it. And this is where I'm going to go with it. Now, on the flip side of that, if I get something that I think is garbage, I don't think I need to trash the brand because of it. I think that if something has been provided to me and I don't think it's any good, I should be able to contact that company and say, hey, look, I think what you sent me isn't what I expected it to be and I don't think I can recommend it. So I'm going to send it back to you and not put out a video. I don't need to tell you guys if I get something that's junk. I've gotten things that are junk and not put videos on. I've already kind of been doing that. So I think there is a way that you can do both things. Uh, it's really not that complicated. I don't think it has to be that complicated. I also feel that if I buy something, well, then all bets are off. I can basically say whatever I want about the product because I bought it, and I will say whatever I want. I've already done that before on my channel where I've bought something. It didn't really live up to what I thought it would be, and so I'm going to just say it. I don't like it. Uh, it's no different than any, any other consumer out there. I think that YouTube needs to, and, and again, I mean YouTubers, need to be more transparent when it comes to these types of arrangements, and I don't think that Phil DeFranco, uh, and, and especially in a position of trying to sell himself as a news outlet, should be acting as an advertising agency to the people who are sponsors to his content. And the reason why he shouldn't do it is because if something like this comes up, it makes it a million more times harder to get away from it as here. And I think that's why he's defending the services because he's kind of in too deep not to be. So I, I just kind of wanted to share that with, with my viewers because in my opinion, when I watched this thing with Philip DeFranco, and again, I did not use BetterHelp's service. I wouldn't use it just because I kind of see through it. I don't want a doctor over the phone if I'm going to go and talk to somebody and I'm going to pay for it. Uh, I'm certainly going to do so in person. So uh, I kind of saw through that whole thing from the get-go and I don't necessarily think that 
promoting services that are in a it's it's not even really in a roundabout way it's sort of taking advantage of people that are having mental health issues and i won't have i certainly won't be a part of that and uh, you know I, I think that people need to do a better job of vetting their sponsorships uh, only if they're concerned about their integrity and their future uh, as far as their, their their accountability goes if you want to just be a shill for somebody's product and sell out your your soul for them go for it but uh, your viewers will judge you for that in the long term in my opinion and you know this whole scandal has just basically made me decide that uh, I'm going to do better for my viewers because I know how it felt when I watched this video from Phil DeFranco yesterday like to be totally honest with you it kind of offended me as a viewer where I felt like he was sort of talking down to me like or like he was smarter than me like he was trying to justify what he had done wasn't a conflict of interest which it clearly clearly was a conflict of interest so I won't do that to my viewers and I hope other youtubers will start to sort of follow suit here and again not to say that other sponsors won't take advantage of YouTubers, they will. And I'm not saying that I'm even going to be immune to it. But if they do, YouTubers need to basically stand up and say, Yep, I got duped and I got my face, but I will move on and get better from it and learn from my, my mistakes and move on. And I, I think that's where Philip DeFranco failed. I will continue to watch his content, but I will do so. Yeah, unfortunately, kind of under a, a lens of skepticism, which kind of sucks because... I think he's better than that. So that's my take on the whole thing. I know a lot of my viewers probably have no idea who these people even are, and that's fine. But I do suggest that you kind of dig into it because it is kind of interesting. I also think mainstream media falls into these things a little bit as well. Uh, the only differences that you won't see is you won't see mainstream media saying things like, go to the service backslash our name. Uh, that's super blatant about taking that money. So mainstream media just has the resources to kind of vet those things out better than what your smaller youtube channels uh, can do so th there's a, a part of that too so again i thank you very much for tuning in if this is your first time tuning in please click that subscribe button down below remember likes go a long way to help support the channel see you next time